Sichert is a 100 or more than 100 years old company here in Berlin, Germany. We are specialized on polycabinets, suite cabinets and the solution providers for the telecommunication industry. In 2023, we became part of the Belden Group, which is one of the leading companies for telecommunication and broadband. My name is Thorsten Rochner and I'm the Director R&D here at the Belden Sichert. I'm responsible for the product development and the innovation group as well. This is our most beautiful cabinet. It's a bench, smart bench, and we designed it as furniture for future cities, for places where you can't put in a great cabinet. You have a solar panel in the back wall, you have phone chargers at the side, and you have fiber distribution in the bench. One of the biggest challenges in developing new street cabinets is that Prototypes are really expensive because our products are made by injection molding. For prototyping, rapid prototyping, really fast or maybe some small adaptions. This is where 3D printing brings a lot of benefits with it. Because it's very fast, it's simple and cost effective. Starting the 3D printing was a question of freedom of design. We had metal design, we had mold design, but if we are developing uh, products, we can't do molding with metal because it is expensive and time consuming. 3D printing gives us the liberty and freedom to choose any kind of design. And of course, an important reason we 3D print is the material range, low hardened till peak, which we can use in high temperature use cases. The benefit printing with the large format 3D printer is we don't have to cut the models into pieces before printing and reassemble it afterwards. It saves a lot of time and gives us more stability in the product itself. Before we choose the IPSO, first we started with external services, but then we decided to print with our own printer. So we decided to go large with the IPSO. One challenge we faced in choosing the right 3D printer was which material the printer could print. Therefore, we want to have a wide range. So we print most of the time with RSR because it has a good environmental resistance. You can use it outdoor. The temperature range is good. We also print with polyamide, with carbon fibers. We print with polycarbonate. That's our standard material. It depends on our use case, which material we are printing. These cabinets, we call it FCC, they are our core business. They are for distributing fiber optic cables to homes. For this purpose, we have to protect them for weather and for damage. We test our prototypes for fitting, we test tolerance of the part and we also test stability, for example. This new enclosure for a sensor system, with this we test the fitting of the PCB, the fitting of connectors, the overall look of it, which we think can give us new opportunities. This is a smart tower uh, where you can put the 5G antenna in and we 3D printed the side panels because there we are free in shape, in design. You can put it uh, into public spaces or bus stop or as information point. The experience we gained is massive because the size of the parts infect a lot of uh, the printing process. The time, the uh, speed of the printer, diameter of the nozzle all gets together and it all depends each other. So we learned a lot and we're still learning.